Alright guys, so this is the video that we've been waiting to put out for multiple reasons, but here it is. Hi, I'm Jeremy. And I'm Kelly. Hey, I'm Jackson. My name is Jackson. And this is Jonathan. As you saw in our video earlier on, we were 100% sold on the Grand Design Solitude 3740BH, the bunkhouse, their new one. We were in love. <laughs> we love it. We absolutely love it. So then we started taking inside measurements, started putting tape on the floor and up on the walls like we saw on a fellow YouTuber's channel, yep. and quickly realized that um, our stuff wouldn't fit. There's no space for bikes, kayaks, stuff like that inside the RV. Or underneath. Or underneath the RV. So, with all the traveling we want to do and being in the very cold and snowy climates, we didn't want the bikes to be outside. And we've seen tons and tons and tons of videos where they have bikes, dirt bikes, motorcycles, whatever, on the outside, on the Not back of their bad. RV, and the hitch is failing. Um, getting road salt and dirt and grime all over the stuff so you have to constantly be cleaning it well between that and the fact that the bunkhouse really only has three beds and then a couch to pull out and that counts as a fourth bed yeah. and the length of the beds um, considering my height then knowing that the boys will probably <clears throat> take after him yeah, they're gonna grow tall. I mean, they're already grew, they're already very tall for their age. They're growing out of their clothes really fast. But we decided to look in a different direction. So we're doing that now. We love the we love Grand Design, and so naturally we started looking at the toy haulers, the Momentum. We know that the grant that the momentum is quite a bit different inside than the solitudes. So we're gonna look at every single one they have on the lot. And we have been looking online and we're pretty sure we know which one that would work best for us. We know which one we like. We yeah, we know we definitely know which one we like. Um, Whether or not it's gonna pan out, we'll see. And you know, when when we ordered the truck, we ordered it to haul more than the heaviest fifth wheel uh, toy hauler, anything. So we ordered it knowing that eventually we would want to upgrade from a solitude, basically. <clears throat> so that's not the issue at all. Um, I mean, it's the same reason we got a bench seat in the front in case we have another child. We have space that in mind also we realized that we didn't want to get since we ordered the truck knowing that we want to have another child we don't want to end up with an RV that doesn't really fit another child as well so that's one of another reason that's pointing us this direction especially since we're going to be full-timing we want them to have a, a space that they actually are going to fit in long term yeah as they grow so that's that's all factoring into our plan. We'll walk through each of them and we'll talk about what will work for us, what won't work for us. Considering that we are a family of five, possibly six in the future. Yeah. So here we go. What do you think, Kelly? What? I really like this one. This one's set up really well. I like the finishes on this one better than most momentums. The other momentums are a lot more masculine.
So I like how open this floor plan feels. You've got, with the opposing slides right on top of each other, okay, you wanna go around, that's fine. With the opposing slides, it makes this room look, feel so much bigger, and that's a good thing, but there's a downside to that. It also means that when the slides are in, you're not gonna have a whole lot of space to walk through, if any. We actually haven't seen this one with the slides closed. So that would be one concern that I would have. I like the island. I like that it's a big open cooking space. You don't have that in a lot of RVs or big wheels. Um, I like that the sink's off to the side. Other than that, I mean. I like the kitchen on this one. The kitchen yeah. and the pantry on this one are much larger. Yeah. But we like the L shaped couch on the other one. Yes, I agree. So let's keep going. right all together. The ones that have the smaller pantries are a little bit bigger, so there's less space for the kitchen items, but you do have this side to make up for that. Uh, let's see, what else? The super sofa is nice because it allows all of us to sit together. However, it takes away the dining table, so I don't know how functional that is. I guess it's just gonna take us actually living in one to figure out what's gonna work best for us. the big cabinets however I will say that a lot of these I can't reach so that may not be very functional for a five foot two and a half three foot girl um there's no loft in this one. yeah there is no loft and no slide in the kitchen no opposing slides yeah the uh, non, no opposing slides makes it a smaller space although without the island it doesn't feel smaller um, no loft. and then the fact that there's no loft Bed, so if we have my mom or Jeremy's parents come with us, we have space for them. Yes, that's a door. So we saw all the momentums they had here on the lot, which we like. They didn't have the one that we were looking for, which is the 398M. That's the one we believe will fit us the best, yep. especially in the long term and especially being full time. It allows us to have the four, two sets of happy jacks, which gives us four beds in the back and gives us the extended garage for um, our outdoor toys. Of the ones that we looked at, I really liked the one that had the L-shaped couch because that, it just feels more cozy. It feels more um, like a house. It had the table and chairs in it, which we really want, but it also had the theater seating, um, which we will probably remove. We could remove and put a desk there, a dedicated desk there, since we have the other couch. Just need to figure out whether or not losing that extra set of Happy Jacks is worth it to us. We're on to the next adventure. Here's what we always say. We're on to the next adventure. On to the next adventure. That's what we are on to our next adventure. 
That's right.